Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine. This is a reinforced concrete building in this stage of framework. Let's get inside and see what's gonna happen here. These columns are not formed yet. As you can see, these cross tie didn't surround these stirrup, but from the performance based design, we know that the cross tie should surround the stirrup instead of longitudinal bar, and that is really important. These are material for deck. And this shear bolt has two pier and two boundaries, you know, and are not formed yet. These are longitudinal rebar for the boundary zoom, the shear wall. And this is the length of the boundary zoom. And these cross ties, as you can see, must uh, tie the vertical rebars of the shear wall. and play the anchor role for them. And these are root rebar for the column. And this the this is the open shear wall with the spandrel beam is gonna be formed now. I will talk about spandrel beam in the next videos. Cur These are another column in the stage of framework. And the space between two stirrups is okay in the middle of the column. And we know that the space of stirrups uh, in the critical zone should be more tight, should be less. And this is the form shear wall ready for casting. And another shear wall. And this is the disposal well that filled with water now. These three buttress for the shear wall is not in or not enough void casting, and I knew that uh, framework will increase them.
frameworkers. And these are instrument for the framework. These reinforcements are not a structural arm. These are for anchoring the shear ball while casting. Another column. Now we are going to watch this project after pouring of concrete. Stay tuned, please. Now you are watching the same project after casting. All of these shear bolts and columns con cast it, you know. Now we are watching the open shear bolt, the spander will be. I thank you all for watching the video and if you like it please subscribe the channel to motivate me to create more videos thanks everybody thank you very much